Hi everyone, it's Greg from Vancouver, Washington. During my last camping trip, I was boondocking several hours from home and I needed to find an RV dump station on the way back. I found a free one on the way back, but it was a bit of a detour. How I wished I could have just driven, driven straight home rather than add another 30 to 45 minutes of road time finding and using a dump station. So I got inspired to somehow figure out how to install an RV dump station at home where I park my RV. I have done a lot of home improvement, but I've never worked on an ABS sewer line. A friend told me to get into the crawl space under the house and see if there was easy access to the sewer line. Fortunately, the sewer line was very accessible and only 18 feet away from my RV pad, including a nicely placed ventilation screen in the foundation. Okay, so step one was to poke through the ventilation screen. Fortunately, this one was easily pushed aside. This is where the sewer connection will exit the house. The 10 foot sections of ABS wouldn't fit through the trap door on the floor, so I put them through the foundation vent screen that I had just pushed aside. Before cutting into the sewer line, it's best to make sure you've pre-fit all the pieces together. I am fitting pieces together here without glue to find the best location to tie in the new RV line to the main sewer line. Be prepared to make multiple trips to the hardware store to find just the right pieces and angles. Once all the pieces were pre-fit and making sure everyone in the house had done their business in the bathrooms and then flushed a couple of more times after that, I was ready to cut the main sewer line to put in the new Y connection. I put a basin underneath the pipe to catch any wastewater and then cut out the correct length to accommodate the new Y. Use a utility knife to clear the ABS plastic shavings left over from cutting. Note that in order to connect the new Y, you'll probably need a 3-inch coupling. This is because typically the sewer line can't be maneuvered back and forth along the length of the sewer line due to upstream and downstream connections. At least that was what was true of my particular install. To install the new Y, first apply a generous amount of ABS glue to the connecting sections. Once the glue makes contact, you have about 20 seconds to position things so that everything fits together perfectly. Here you can see I'm positioning the Y and the RV line so that they just line up. I figured it would be best to start my install at the sewer line and then make my way out to the RV pad because if I made a mistake, it would be easier to remedy it somewhere along the extension line to the RV rather than having to recut the sewer line. The last step on the sewer line is making sure the coupling is in place and then of course tightening down the clamps. From there, I worked my way out to the RV pad by applying generous amounts of ABS cement both to the inside of the female connection and the outside of the male connection and then joining them together. Once your connections are made, you can give your kids a text message, have them flush the toilets so you can see if there are any leaks at all. Looks good, must have done something right. So here is the entire RV extension line underneath the house. Out at the RV pad, I did not make a traditional 90 degree vertical turn with the sewer pipe. It seemed better to make sure that there was a decent grade leading away from my RV so with some creativity, I created a connection point that is well below the level of the RV's discharge tube. Of course, this meant more trips to the hardware store. I'm winterizing now to make sure my tanks are completely clean and empty. And of course, while I was doing this, I went back under the house to make sure that drain line was not leaking. And it wasn't. 
Okay, so my final step is, of course, to put some spray foam insulation in the gap area where the screen used to be to make sure to keep critters out. Okay, now that my RV dump line is installed, it saves me time from having to find dump stations. It increases my camping options, and I can use my R-Pod here as guest quarters, full guest quarters, anytime I want. Thanks for watching. Hope this video was helpful, and we'll see you out there exploring our beautiful country. Thank you.